Hello everybody and welcome to Star Wars on High. Thank you for stopping by. We got some pretty awesome news earlier today that I really wanted to cover before the day ended. Uh, looks like the one and only legendary author John Jackson Miller is returning for another Star Wars novel that looks absolutely insane as the Jedi face a crisis in a new Star Wars novel, The Living Force. And right off the bat, I mean the cover of this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. It looks like the classic posters that we've seen before. I'm sure that's what they were going for, and it's very different from a lot of the covers that we typically see with the books, showing us everyone that was on the Jedi Council during the time of the Phantom Menace. And this is pretty cool too, coming exclusively from, I hope I pronounced this right, I believe it's IO9, um, but they have some pretty interesting stuff about this story. So right now it looks like the Jedi Order, and specifically the Council that leads it, has made a lot of mistakes throughout its long history, especially in the declining days of the Old Republic. And now a new Star Wars novel is going to explore one Jedi's attempts to get its members to see just that, with a road trip and a few pirates along the way. The thing I think that's really exciting is that this novel takes place just one year before The Phantom Menace. So this is probably about the same time as Cloak of Deception from the Legend timeline, but the official synopsis here says, In the year before the Phantom Menace, Yoda, Mace Windu, and the entire Jedi Council confront a galaxy on the brink of change. The Jedi have always traveled the stars, defending peace and justice across the galaxy. But the galaxy is changing, and along with it, the Jedi Order. More and more, the Order finds itself focused on the future of the Republic, secluded on Coruscant, where the 12 members of the Jedi Council weigh crises on a galactic scale. As yet, another Jedi outpost left over from the Republic's Golden Age is set to be decommissioned on the planet Quen. Qui-Gon Jinn challenges the Council about the increasing isolation of the Order. Mace Windu suggests a bold response all 12 Jedi Masters will embark on a goodwill mission to help the planet, and remind the people of the galaxy that the Jedi remain as stalwart and present as they have been across the ages. But the arrival of the Jedi leadership is not seen by all as a cause for celebration. Warring pirate factions have infested the sector in the increasing absence of the Jedi. To maintain their dominance, the pirates unite, intent on assassinating the Council, and they are willing to destroy countless innocent lives to secure their power. Cut off from Coruscant, the Jedi Masters must reckon with an unwelcome truth that while no one thinks more about the future than the Jedi Council, nobody needs their help more than those living in the present. I can tell you right now that this book is going to be incredible just with the amount of characters that are going to be involved. But what are your thoughts? Are you going to be excited for this book? Does this story sound like something that would interest you? Or are you going to pass on this one? It is John Jackson Miller and he can do no wrong. Star Wars The Living Force is set to release April 9th, 2024 and is available for pre-order now. But will you be picking up this book when it releases next year? Let us know all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you to everyone who stuck around to this point in the video, and we hope to see you again very soon.